Okay, good afternoon and welcome to Shulchan Aruch Yomi. We're learning Simon Tet, Arachayim. Number nine, uh, we're continuing with the Halachas of Sitzis. Um, yesterday, we started the Halachas of Sitzis, and in the Ian part of the Shir, we discussed whether you have to wear your Sitzis outside. Of course, I chose the most controversial topic to talk about. Today, we were talking about what um, types of begotten, what types of materials are chayav and tzitzitz, um, are all materials chayav and tzitzitz from the Torah, um, what do you have the strings, what time I was talking about the actual cloth, the beged, um, the strings, what could they be made out of, we'll get into that today, of course in the Eden portion of this year we're going to talk, we're going to talk about Something I really left out yesterday, which is, there's two parts of the mitzvah. There's the lavan and the trelas. So really, as the Gemara describes, two strings. Every every corner of your beged um, has, if you look at it, you count it as eight strings. Really, it's four big strings folded over. It's two of those strings are white. Two of those strings are supposed to be trelas. Now, as we don't have trelas, so we make all four strings white. We fold them over to get eight. Now, if we don't have trelas, are we making the mitzvah at all? Right, I said yesterday that trailer is supposed to be on the outside. We don't have it outside, so we're inside the white. Do we have, is there a mitzvah at all without trailer? So we're going to get into that. Um, let's start. Sif Aleph over here. In Chayef, Besitzitz, Menat Torah, El Abeg, Pishtim, O Shel Semer, Rechelem. Shulchan Aruch Paskins. That the only things that are Mechayef in the Torah to actually put sitzitz on, meaning you're wearing a four-cornered garment. The garment has to be made of either wool. Wool, the dafka comes from sheep. Um, Kashmir, which is uh, the fleece that comes from goat, would not be considered semer. Also, semer that comes ga- camel hair, or rabbit hair, would also not be considered wool. It has to be dafka from sheep um, or linen. Linen is a plant that grows flax. Um, people make linens out of them. You know those things that cover your beds, and you know the bed sheets and the bed spreads should be linen, made out of linen. They're called linens for a reason, right? Uh, you have to put sitzes on your your blankets, on your sheets. There's actually some people who are to actually cut off one of the corners of their uh, blankets because they're afraid that they're chayev and sitzes. The reason that they're part there, we'll try to explain a little later on, is because predominantly they're used at night. Um, if they're used at night, so um, they're called lilas, lavas, mon, sitzes, so time for sitzes, so there's no chi of mitzvah sitzes, but the problem is sometimes you wake up in the morning, it's already light outside, so <clears throat> we discussed yesterday whether it's a thing that are used for the night or the time frame of day or night, so that's why people cut it off. Alright, you have to mesh sitzes, or like me, I wear, should I show you? I'm not really wearing an undershirt, but I am wearing sitzes. Here, I'll show you my sitzes. I'm wearing uh, the V-neck. Uh, these are cotton sitzes. Uh, they're made of cotton, breathable, even wearing them in the winter. Um, I used to wear the wool ones because we're going to see that the Shulchan Aruch says a Yari Shamayim, Kohen Wise Gira Shamayim, should make sure to wear wool sitzes. Only wool says this, not linen says this. We'll see linen says this, the Ravana made or, or the later Ahrona made Xera not to wear them. Linen says this, but wool says this are the only things you could wear that behave the race according to all the sheetas. Um, so that's why I used to wear the Yerushamayim. Now I'm not a Yerushamayim anymore. Again, Yerushamayim is maybe a, it's a Mila, but I think it's more of a progression in your life. Um, I don't think it's the final step. Um, it's very clear from a lot of Musra Svarim that Yerushamayim is only less than Avas Hashem. So, Yerushamayim, obviously, if someone doesn't have Avas Hashem yet. So, if you have Avas Hashem, you can ditch whatever Yerushamayim is and you can become more normal and not have Yerushamayim. So, I became more normal. Um, I ditched the Yerushamayim and I'm back to cotton, which I wear for a reason because it's comfortable, it's lightweight, it's breathable, it's natural. Uh, wool is also natural, but it's, it's a heavier material. It's meant for warmer weather, especially during the winter. I wear an undershirt, so to wear an undershirt um, along with sitzes, I don't. It's a little too much warmth uh, during the summer. I don't really 
I used to wear it on the during the summer also, but I ditched that also. So now I just wear it since it's on my chest. Some people say it's a bizarion. I don't know where that's from. Some people say I've been playing sports in them, so then it's a bizarion. But Tamir Goodman, famous Jewish Jordan, he used to wear sitzes even, I think, in college at NCAA Division One at Townsend. He used to wear sitzes, even though it wasn't obligated to wear sitzes. He would wear sitzes while he played basketball, not just a yarmulke, sitzes. You know, they talk about Ryan Terrell, but I don't think Ryan Terrell wore sitzes. He actually wore a yarmulke and he wore sitzes. Did you know that? All right. Uh, it's like one day. It's actually in the Gemara. He passed in Shulchan Aruch. It's only the Rabbanon, like Rav Nachman and the Gemara. He shows him the Chulu Chayav mid the Rais of a Haki Hilkasa. The Rama brings in no. Most Boskim Rashi, um, Rabbeinu Tam, they say no. We passed in like Rava, not like Rav Nachman. It seems to be about the final opinion of the Gemara Masech of Menachos, the Gemara Masech of Shabbos. That other begadim, whether it's made of silk, even it's natural, maybe even synthetic materials, polyester, nylon, these things would all uh, be high of midor raisa. We're going to see there's a difference. There is a difference that even if you're using if you're using wool or linen, so then you could, um, uh, if you if you're using something besides wool or linen, you have to have strings of that material. So if you're wearing silk sitzes, you have to have silk strings. Kind of hard to find silk strings. Um <coughs> base. Sits is shall pish them or shall summer rachel and potrim mechol me never got them, right? We're talking about the strings now. So woolen strings. I believe that the strings that I'm wearing. As per yesterday's year, I did tuck my sits in today. I used to just wear them. I used to wear my sits out. Uh, I stopped wearing that when I started wearing polo shirts. Uh, it didn't look nice, but now even I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, make my wife happy. Uh, I wear it a couple times a week. Um, I still, I tuck my sits in. Just this afternoon, I started tucking my sits in based on the show yesterday, you know. I don't want to be different in person and mouth. So these sits, if you can see them over here, I believe these are made out of wool. Um, they don't look like they're caught in sits. So that's what the is saying over here. If you have wool sits, even if you're, the baggage, even the garment is made out of cotton, it would potter, even made of so. Uh, <clears throat> he has an important halacha over here that nowadays, because we don't have treles, so therefore you can't be makayim. This is the way the Mishmur says, Bishle Musa. You're not makayim the mitzvah entirely. So therefore, even though normally the, the, the Torah says, right? The Torah says that there's smichos in the Torah. The Torah says, Semero Pishtim, Silbash Kilayim, Shemer, Silbash Kilayim, Shatne, Semero Pishtim, Yachtav. It says you shouldn't wear uh, one limb and linen sewn together. And then it says, G'dilim Tasalach. To tell you that the mitzvah of sitzis, if you're doing it in the mitzvah of sitzis, Esay Doka Losa, say the Gemara learns out from there. You're allowed to do it. You let him kayim the mitzvah of sitzis, um, even if it's kilayim. So the Shulchan Aruch says, not nowadays. The Gemara was not talking about nowadays. This is a Kiddush of the Beis Yosef. He says, He says, we don't have treles nowadays. The Gemara had treles. We don't have treles. The smock says that you shouldn't even make um, linen sitzes at all, the garment, even if you're going to want to put linen um, linen strings on them, because uh, we're worried that you might get confused <coughs> and think that and confuse uh, silk with with wool, and you might come to um, if you wear, uh, 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 you might come, instead of putting the, the meshi on them, you're going to put the wool and you're going to violate this halacha of, of kilayim. Um, we'll have to discuss in Inan Shulchan Aruch, uh, what is it? If you're, if you're not Makayim the mitzvah, so then how could you wear, this is a fundamental question, how could you wear this at all nowadays, right? We learned the last halacha in Simon Ches is that you wear a four-cornered baguette. And you don't put on sitzes, you're mavatal and mitzvah. So you're mavatal and mitzvah, you're doing an isra seemingly. So how could you wear it? If you're not makai the mitzvah, so you're being mavatal and mitzvah by wearing only lavan. If lavan is good enough without treles, it should be docha the kisser of kilayim. If it's not, not. So that's a problem to deal with. Gimel, sitzes shall sharmim, ain't potion, elabaminum. If it's made out of something else, made of silk. It's made of a synthetic material. It has to be made. The sitzes had to be made had of polyester. It makes polyester sitzes. You have to make polyester strings. So go and meshi 
Lebeg and Meshi with Semer Gefel and Semer Gefel, for example, silk with silk, cotton with cotton, and Lashol Minam, and on Potrim. And it wouldn't work, the Gemara Darshan says Haknaf. It says in Parsha, it says Haknaf. We learn an extra hay over there that it has to be uh, when it's not Semer Opish. There's one puzzle that says Semer Opish and Yachta. That's talking about it. And it says Gedilim Tasalach and Devarim. So we learn over there, Semer Opish always work by any type of garment. Uh, Sitzes of Semer Opish always work. When it comes to other types of garments, so then you need Haknaf. You need the Sitzes to be the same uh, type of fabric, same type of material as the actual uh, garment itself. Well, let's say you put some, I guess two of the strings were wool, um, and two of them were silk, or two of them were polyester. Uh, would that be good or not? Um, I would think that would go based on robe. If you have three, uh, there's four strings, if three of them or semer, uh, so semer it's considered rove, and semer would pot or any beggar. If it was two and two, it would be a subject del raisa. But if it's derabonon, if the chiv is derabonon, meaning it's a beggar that's made out of not semer or pishtim, it's made out of silk or polyester, so that's only derabonon, so then I would go into the kula. Uh, even if it's two and two, a subject derabonon the kula, you would be, you would say, hey, yesh omrim shesarak lasso sasisis miseba talis. There's even an opinion, and some people say, this is what Rashi and the Rambam says, the Rashi is coming from a Gemara in Menachos. It says, Bemina. So Rashi interprets that if you have a red baguette, you have to have red sitzes. Obviously, two red strings and two blue strings for the Tchelas. Uh, people are Medatek and Mitzvos. They actually, it's interesting, you have green sitzes. Some people have these interesting colored sitzes. They wear, you have to actually have the, sh- the colors of the baguette. The Ramah says, Armin Ashkenazim is to only wear white strings. The Gemara says, Levonim, I mean, and we should not change. That is our Minog, Shogun Arach, Sfar, maybe you could wear. They have to wear different color strings. Some people say, you shouldn't make a tal shal pishta. Abu Jain halacha came. Yarishim amietzi as kula miyasa osa tal shal semer rochel. This is what we mentioned before in Sif Beis over here um, that the smach made exera. They made exera and achronim. We show them achronim made exera not to wear pishta nowadays because you get confused. Uh, we're confused. What's you know? We're confused. Meshi with semer, silk with wool. And they ask, how could you confuse wool? silk and wool? Feel very different. Um, anyway, you should do Yari Shemayim. This is where it's from. Yari Shemayim Yetzias Kulam Ba'Osa Tal Shal Semer Achelim. You should have exactly what everyone else does. Those big um, twenty-four inch. Now we're gonna discuss the size of your sitzes. How long it has to be. People wear like really big sitzes, right? V-neck is also a question. I wear a V-neck. I put myself in a question mark over there. Um, really long sitzes. Um, and you wear the woolen sitzis with those black stripes, of course, because it has to look like a talus. Um, you should do a semer shavachelim shu chayv zis min atorah b'li pikpo. According to everybody, it's chayv and sitzis. Hagol miu e efshar, e efshar rach b'talus shal pishton. If you only can find a linen garment, muto shi'as b'talus shal pishton, sitzis shal pishton, but she's batal mitzvah sitzis. It's better, the Ramah says. You have to do mitzvah sitzis. You have to be mechayv yourself on mitzvah sitzis, even if you, it's interesting. It's better... Don't worry about the xera. Put on that linen baguette and put on those sitzes of pishta. Right? You can't use semer because it's kilayim according to the shulchan aruch, and you can't use any other, anything else because other uh, fabrics only work for their. If the baguette is made out of fabric, for example, silk strings would only work for a silk baguette. They wouldn't work for uh, a linen baguette. So therefore, you have to put linen strings over there. And that's what he says. It's better to always make high mitzvah sitzes. So again, we don't have to. Do, you don't have to be make high mitzvah sitzes. You don't have to wear a baguette to make yourself in sitzes. But our minhag is to try as much as possible to wear a baguette, to wear a garment that has sitzes on it. So we make ourselves and we do it. Stay tuned for even a shulchan aruch. We discuss maybe your being mivatal and mitzvah sitzes. If there's no tchelus nowadays, how does that work out? See you in even a shulchan aruch.